this is a planning exercise. MTC doesn't have the, the authority to establish tolls on freeways. But the Metropolitan Transportation Commission is behind the study looking into how it could work by 2035, an idea that's not too popular for drivers we've spoken with. We're already paying so much to live here. MTC says they get it, but it's a study they say is necessary. MTC says its projections show that the Bay Area's population will grow by 15 percent and in turn slow down freeway travel times. But, uh, that we want to reduce congestion on freeways, that we need to reduce driving if we're going to meet the state's emissions reduction targets. This tolling system is one main idea. In one scenario being looked at, it would be implemented on congested freeways that run parallel with transit service like Caltrain. It would cost between 10 to 30 cents per mile, depending on the level of congestion, and the tolls would be lower in off-peak hours and gone on nights and weekends. Take a look at this example given in MTC's Tuesday webinar. If there's no freeway pricing by 2035, it would take 100 minutes to get from Antioch to San Francisco in a car, costing $8 for a bridge toll and 16 for fuel and maintenance. That adds up to $24. Now, look at the numbers in 2035 with freeway pricing. That same drive from Antioch to San Francisco would take 80 minutes and cost $35. That total cost includes an $11 highway toll along with the bridge toll and maintenance costs. MTC says a driver traveling on high congestion freeways five days a week for at least 40 miles could pay $270 a month. One major question brought up is the impact on people who struggle financially. The study factored in a 50% discount for drivers who live in a household that earns less than $55,000 a year and those with disabilities. But even with that discount, those drivers could pay up to $135 monthly. MTC says this is one of the elements they're still hoping to get feedback on. It's a planning exercise and we've got a few more steps to go in this exercise. The commission has more opportunities for public feedback on its website. Zach Fuentes, ABC7 News.